Welcome and thank you for joining us at five. I'm Kevin Ogle and I'm Heather Holman. We begin with a frustrated mom who wants to know why a metro school district has a bus stop just feet away from a registered sex offenders home. Now she claims the district is giving her the runaround. However, within the last few minutes, news of a solution. News Force Bria Berry picks it up from there. Our children are still out there playing in the doorstep of registered sex offenders. Heather Johnson wants to know why more public schools allows a bus stop to be close to a registered sex offender's home. And she's turning to News 4 for help. For two years, Johnson says she called the school district asking for an explanation, but hasn't gotten one. I noticed that there is a sex offender at the corner of 85th and South Independence, and that just so happens to be a bus stop for elementary, middle, and uh, high school students. She lives nearby and says children of all ages, including her own, wait for the bus directly across from the offender's home. According to court records, the registered sex offender was convicted of multiple crimes, including forcible oral sodomy and indecent or lewd acts with a child under 16. That was in 2007. There's certainly people that have changed their lives, made made mistakes and change their lives, but it's absolutely important to me to protect our children. In front of your home, we spoke with the man and he says if parents have an issue, they could knock on his door and talk to him directly. It's important to note, no law prohibits registered sex offenders from living near a school bus stop, but this mother of three wants that changed. Nothing happens. I'm pretty persistent and I um, know how to find emails and find contact information for all higher ups involved and I'll keep stair stepping until we get a change. Bria Beery, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Bria, thank you. In a statement sent to News 4, more public school officials said in part, in this situation, a solution was made in collaboration with the parent who raised a valid concern over their student's bus stop. Now, we asked district officials for clarification on the solution. They told us it's an alternate bus stop to replace the now previous one near the registered sex offenders home.